Okay, somebody asked me if I could share how to animate the little boy, the little baby going down the slide from my extending animations tutorial. So I'm going to do that and I thought I would add another one because these aren't going to be too challenging. Let me do a quick duplicate of the baby and show you what I did. I have the background and then I just have the baby sitting at the top and then I do a simple animation of position and linear. So let me show you what that looks like. In fact, let's just start from the beginning and let's go get the baby. I tend to use the search, it makes it easy. I am going to use the sitting animation and then I'm going to have happy. Those were the two that I did. I am going to, because he starts in a standing position, I'm going to click on the, the name, the label of the action and disable the starting animation. Now I need to place him and he's obviously too big there. So I'm going to put him right at the top. And I just scrolled in by using my touch mouse, two fingers on a Mac going in and out. Um, and now I just moved it so I can hit the F and it will center it. So now what I'm going to do is I want him to be sitting there a little bit. Then I'm going to make sure that the animation is highlighted in blue. I'm going to add an animation right here. I'm going to do position and the easing. I use linear. Now I don't want the ending to be right there. What I'm doing right now is looking to where I want. What I want is for him to get to the bottom of the slide just as he's starting to stand. And I'm going to bring him down to the bottom so that he's sitting right at the bottom of the slide. So let's see how that looks. And then he has a nice graceful stand at the end. There you go. There is our, <laughs> he's clapping too. He's very happy. So now I can show you how to animate a girl holding balloons with an action she doesn't really have and she's going to go up. You can do this. I wanted to use all elements that were in Create Studio. So I have done this um, in some of my other tutorials with riding a scooter. And um, I think there was a scooter one. There were some other ones as well. Um, but I had brought those items in. Sorry, as I talk, I can't do this as much um, as quickly. Let me ungroup this. So I wanted to make sure I had everything that could be found in Create Studio. So here, what I have is in this group, I have the girl and the balloons. And they are grouped so that they will move together. And here, I use the same animation linear and position for her to go up. Now here you can see she's going out of the frame, which she didn't do here. Notice here I have her disappearing. So that is why I have a mask. This will be the mask. I should have named them so you could see them. And how do I do that? What I do is I go up here for a shape. I'm going to get a square. The 
only one that really matters is the top because nothing's going out the sides um, or the bottom. So I'm not going to worry so much if those are, those are good or not. But right here, because she's going to be going up, I want to make sure that it's not going too short like that. And then she would disappear too soon. I want to have it right there. So let's see. I'm going to get rid of the mask I had. All you do then is I have the group and I animated the group. I'll show you that after. Now the problem is if you go in and you and you select your group, hold down your shift key and select the square, or you can just click and drag to select them. Click mask. Now the problem is look, she's not she's not moving. I lost the animation because the unmask it, you can see, look, the animations are gone. So I'm going to command Z, command Z, so we get it back. To be sure that I don't lose the animation of her going up, I need to click on it and group it again. And that keeps those animations in place. Then I can select both, mask it, and now she goes up, and as you can see right there, she's no longer overlapping. She leaves right out of the scene. So let me unmask this, and let me just show you what I did. I'm going to delete the animation, and I'm going to ungroup it. So what I did is I just went into characters, the 3D, and there's Esther right there. So I just brought her over to the screen. I wanted an action that could be like holding the balloons. Now, <laughs> it's... If it were too close, it wouldn't look so great, but it, it can pass in, in a small video like this. So the pointing, I'm going to change it to pointing. And because I had her going the other way, all I did was I flipped her. You can flip right here. See those two arrows? Or you can always find it in properties, flip horizon, uh, vertically or horizontally. Whoop, I forgot to put her back. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to bring her to the end. She has a starting animation, so I want to disable that so she's holding the balloons. The balloons are in Create Studio. All I did was... There it is, balloons three right here. So I just clicked and dragged to the canvas or to the timeline. So now I just need to size. And then put that so it looks like she's holding it. Even though it's a point from far away, you're not going to notice. And of course, I want Esther on top. If I put the balloons in front, it might look messier, although it didn't look too bad. Um, so it might not matter for these. So now I'm going to select both of those, click and group. Or what I tend to do is I select both and I do command G. Same thing. Then I'm going to animate this. I'm going to click F to go back to full screen so I can see. I'm going to have my group selected. You can tell by the blue outline. Add animation, position, linear. I'm going to go, whoop, I don't have, oh, sorry. 
I'm looking to see where to end it. Um, I can click and move her up, or I can use the arrow key on my keyboard. If I hit just one, it goes slower. If I hit the shift and the arrow, it goes up by more. And I'm going to go up. Now we can see outside the box, but that's okay because we're going to mask it. That looks like a pretty good speed. If I want her to go all the way out, I just keep moving her up. And actually, let's leave her down a little so that you can see that her feet won't be seen. So that looks good. Now I'm going to select the group. Well, first I need to group the group. Click it and group it so I don't lose my animations. Then I need to select my group and my mask and mask the group with the square. And I Esther. And you can see at the end her feet are not showing because she's masked into the image. So that's two fun ways to use the position animation. Have fun!